What is up, guys? Welcome back to an awesome episode of Coin Knowledge, Coin Power. So if you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. It means a lot to me. And stay tuned. Today we're talking about the 1960s. Lincoln Sense. Okay, guys, all are welcome. Welcome, welcome. We're talking about today's 1960s Lincoln Cent. There you see we have Denver and Philly. I'm going to show you guys the difference between the two and the similarities between the two. So stay tuned, guys. We are here. You probably can't see it with the naked eye on the camera. I'm going to show you guys under the scope. So let's go ahead, guys. Jump right into it. Things you need to know. Okay, guys. So what you're looking at on the screen right now is the 1960 Philadelphia. So check this out. In 1960, Philadelphia, they made 586.4 million of the small dates. That's the total mintage of small dates and large dates. When I say that's the total mintage, meaning there is really um, no difference between the large date and small date besides the date, meaning the mint didn't try to do this on purpose. It just happened the way the dyes were pre um, prepped and they were all counted as the same. So until somebody like us, coin collectors, brung notice to it, then they start figuring out, okay, we got two types of of uh, sets here. But that's the total mentioned in Philadelphia. It's 586.4 million was minted. Now, as you can see, if you can tell from the way it looks on camera, what I'm showing you, this top coin here is the small date. The bottom coin is the large date. That's why I wanted to put the coin side by side so I can show you guys that visual of seeing the difference instead of hearing somebody say, oh, large date, small date, large date, small date. Okay, now I'm giving you guys the visual so you can actually tell if you have a large date or a small date. Now, as you can see, the six on the large date at the bottom here is curved inward more. The nine is curved inward more. So the nine points at the tip of that six, if you can if you can tell by that, and that six is is huge, like sticking out over all three of the numbers the circle is huge check out this small date now the small date as you can tell from the bottom see how the small date is so small they don't really curve inward like they just they like curve kind of like a C halfway this one kind of like a C Halfway, they doesn't they don't close, they don't close all the way, and the O look like a little donut, I would say. So that would be the Philadelphia. Let's check the Denver's out, guys. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, here we have the Denver. The Denver Mint produced 1.5 billion with a B. So Philadelphia produced 586.4 million. In Denver, they produced a billion more. So they produced the same amount of 580.8 million plus an extra billion on top of that. So these coins were massively produced, especially in Denver. So for this year to have this many mintages, 
you had to know there was going to be some mistakes made. So check this out. I'll give you guys a second. Can you guys tell me which one is the small date, which one is the large date from what I previously said earlier for the Philadelphians? If you said the one on top was a small date, you are correct. The one on top is a small date. As you can obviously see, the same, the same thing is meant just like the Philadelphia's. The large date curves in more. The nine on the nine curves in more. The six it curves in more. You can see on the small date up top. There your little donut goes again. Also, there half curve C, half curve C. Now, that's a simple way of looking at the large day and small date. But if you guys are into varieties and errors, now let's talk about that. There is a repunch mint mark, which would be a D over D. That's a repunch mint mark. That would be a D over D. They also have repunch dates. There are large dates, there are small dates over large dates. And when you look at one under the scope or under a loop, a jeweler's loop that you use, you will be like, wow. Don't have an example here today. I will have an example in the future. But always check your change, guys. Check those mint marks. Check for that small date over large date. By me showing you this comparison, you will see this little small date right here on top. Just imagine that pressed over this large date down here. So that means this six will still be sticking out above that little six. That little O right there will be inside of that large O. So just use your imagination, study, Look things up and enjoy the hunt and keep the hunt alive. I appreciate you guys for joining me for Coin Knowledge, Coin Power. That is your 1960s. These are just a few specimens that I have. Let me check these other few. So, right here, guys, I have a few more. Let's check for some repunch mint marks. Let's check for some small dates over large dates. No repunchment mark there. Next coin. No repunchment mark or no large date over small date. Check the next one. Same thing, no cigar. Last one. No cigar. Thank you guys for joining me. Also, a few tips on the large date and small date coins. They would be, it would be called um, for the Denver, the repunch mint mark will be called FS01 1960D502 or in Konica terms, RPM number one. For the large date over the small date, it will be called FS01 1960D 101 slash 501. Konica words, DDO number one, RPM number one. Thank you guys for joining me for the 1960s light show. And see you guys on the next one. This is Black Steel checking out. Peace.